Okay, so I'm just going to take the continuous really quickly. start with, if Joe is willing to do this, is, can you, would you be yeah, able record? Yeah, it's recording. Um, if you're willing to uh, do, read a few of the letters, they've all read the book, so that we'll be familiar. I'll just read some random one. Uh, February 12th. If I had the money, I would buy a slave, but only if I had enough to buy a master as well. Not a master for my slave, but a master for myself. I would be my slave's master. I would call my slave Bucket, and I would ask my master, master to call me Bucket, too. The countryside would ring with calls of Bucket and with the irresolute gentility of simultaneous whippings. February 28th. The aged have a long, continent moment, cherishing the salt of a fry and the familiarity of a spouse's voice. Children thrust through a good pulverizing their mothers recede. Businessmen titter in a frugal pause. Their mothers recede. The unemployed mow the massive lawn that is their mind. The newly deaf hear the mowers all day long. The paraplegics smile. March 27th. We shall swing by the anal ranch, pick up the Lord, and we shall have a butt-fuck weekend. The Lord will have a biggie. Our faces will be dripping with hot cum, and we shall notice the way muscle is. The Lord will be our butt-fuck buddy, and we will be the butt-fuck buddies of the Lord. But never shall it spill, never, the biggie of the Lord, not ever. March 30th. when you feel satisfied. Um, sometimes I think it's all a jar of scabs. Then I taste the meaty goodness of a mustard only burger, and I think, it can't be. I think, this is too good to be a jar of scabs. Where there's a jar, there's always an owner, and there's no owner here. It's more a miraculous heap than jar. And it may be scabs, but not only scabs. To say it's only scabs 
is to romanticize the heat. April 21st. A chaste glaring pretends to us. Fuck you, I say. Fuck you. April 22nd. I know that when I'm dead, they'll put my picture up on the wall. This solaces me. Beside my name, it will say, I ate here as here ate me. In life, one moves with difficulty through the dim, muscular masses of bystanders in an effort to glimpse the passing parade. In death, one is thrust into that parade. One is fixed in it and moves with it through the dim, muscular masses like a picture on a wall. April 29th. When I get good pills, I often neglect to shower. Neglect is always necessary one way or another. And anyway, I like the way my head gets after a few days of not showering. It's like I have a much keener sense of my skull, how truly perceptive its various surfaces are. To feel that perceptive is to feel glorious glamorous, fully innocent within a fully sensible execution. April 30th. As I eat, I like to look into the sun glaring on the big windows. I look until there's a large black spot in my eye. I believe this spot is God. God never speaks. It's just there, the dead spot in the mechanism that reminds me it is a mechanism. I sleep there in God until it fades away, until the mechanism heals and again there is no God. And then I go back and look into the glare. Can you read February 10th? That would be going back in time. <laughs> One watches the other's order. An aesthetic, an aesthetics develops. It's a typo, maybe. It's not the worst thing that could happen. Yes, a weariness lurks often in the obvious next step the dream of a school. The only thing worse than endeavoring to create a school is endeavoring to maintain a school, which is why I like, above all, those customers who, in the middle of their order and quite without warning, change their minds. <laughs>